Hi guys, welcome to Dumb Minds. In this video tutorial, we learn how to write, execute and troubleshoot 8086 assembly language programs using a program called Debug. Since Debug is a type of DOS program, we need a DOS emulator to run it. Such a type of DOS emulator is DOSBox. To install DOSBox, open terminal, type sudo space apt space install space DOSBox. Press enter. Type your system password. Press Y and enter. To install DOSBox, make sure you have connected to internet. Download debug program from the link given below in the description. I have already downloaded the debug file. It is in zip format, extract it. Go to applications and find DOSBox. We have to mount the path of debug program into a drive. For that we use mount command. Mount space c space parent folder path to find your parent folder path of debug program right click on debug file go to properties and you can see that parent folder path it is the path type the path press enter now you can see that drive C is mounted as local directory. Type C colon and enter. Now press CLS to clear the screen of DOS prompt. Now type debug to run debug program. Now debug is ready to perform tasks on 8086 assembly language programs. Debug has several commands to perform tasks. For example, A for assemble the program, D for displaying the contents of memory locations, and R for displaying the contents of register. I want to explain all these commands by taking an example of addition of two 16 bit numbers that are stored in two different memory locations and to store the resultant value in another memory location. Let the two numbers be 1749 and 4D41. I store 1749 in 3000 and 3001 memory location and 4D41 in 3002 and 3003 memory location. For that, we take the help of F command. The syntax is F space memory range space list of data. F space memory range. The range here is 3000 to 3003. So 3000 space 3003. Space the data we want to enter. We need to first we store lower byte data and we store higher byte data. First 49 space 17 space 41 space 4D. Here 49 is stored in 3000 memory location and 17 is stored in 3001 location, 41 is stored in 3002 location and 4D is stored in 3003 location. Now press enter. Now we want to write our program. For that we need we take the help of a command. Its syntax is a space offset address. Offset address is the address where we store our program. I take the offset address b2020. So write a space 2020 and press enter. Here 073f is base address and 2020 is offset address or effective address. Now we write our instructions. The first instruction is move space si comma 3000. After writing the instruction, press enter and write another instruction move space ax comma bracket of si and press enter. After every instruction, you need to press enter.
after writing all instructions if there is no instruction simply press enter now it's time to execute our program for that we take the help of g command its syntax is g equals to the offset address where we stored our program we stored our program in 2020 so type g equals to 2020 execute the program and the resultant value is 648a is stored in ax register and bx cx dx registers are displayed similarly status flex are updated now if we want to see the mnemonics and machine codes of the above program we take the help of u command its syntax is a space offset address since the offset address is 2020 we type u space 2020 here the mnemonics and machine codes are displayed for the mnemonic mu si comma 3000 the machine code is be0030 similarly for the instruction mu ax comma si the machine code is bb04 similarly for all instructions there we can see the machine codes now to display the contents of register we type r if we want to display the contents of memory location we, ta we take the help of d command its syntax is d space memory location where we need to see the contents of memory locations its d space 3000 and press enter here the it displays the contents of memory locations ranging from 3000 to 3070 f here the first row indicates from 3000 to 3000 f memory locations and second row indicates from 3010 to 3001 f locations we can see that 49 is stored in 3000 location 17 is stored in 3001 location 41 is stored in 3002 location 4d is stored in 3003 location since in program we stored the content of ax register into 2004 and 3005 location so the high, lower byte of ax register 8a is stored in 3004 location and the higher byte is stored in 3005 location to display the contents of status flag we type write the command r r space f and press enter now the status flag is displayed status flags with their codes for reset and set are illustrated in the table given here if the overflow flag is equals to 0 then it displays nv or else if it is 1 it displays ov if direction flag is equals to 0 then it displays up or if it is 1 it displays dn if interrupt flag is equals to 0 then it displays di or else if it is 1 it displays ei If the sign flag is equals to zero, then it displays PL. Or else, if it is one, then it displays NG. If zero flag is equals to zero, then it displays NZ. Or else, it displays ZR. If auxiliary carry flag equals to zero, it displays NA. Or if auxiliary flag is equals to one, it displays AC. If priority flag equals to zero, it displays PO. Or else, if it is one, it displays PE. If carry flag equals to zero, it displays NC. Or else, it displays CY. Now, coming to our program, the status flags are NV, UP, EI, PL, NZ, NA, PO, NC. That means here, overflow flag equals to zero. and direction flag equals to 0 and interrupt flag equals to 1 and sign flag equals to 0 0 flag equals to 0 auxiliary flag is 0 parity flag is 0 and also carry flag is also 0 if we want to alter the contents of status flags we type their respective codes for example i want to change the content of sign flag to 1 
and also pad flag to 1 so I write its command its ng and we have to change the pad flag so pe and press enter now again to display in the status flag r space f and press enter now we can see that the flags are changed to quit debug type q command and press enter now it shows the dash prompt to again run debug program type debug and enter if you have any doubts or suggestions please comment below